Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing my photo card collection of 2022. Yeah, because I'm filming this in 2023. I have filmed um, this video beforehand but I just hated everything about it. Like I really did not like it and I think it's because I rushed to get it done and everything and I just did not like the outcome at all so I decided to redo it all and yeah. So I've now got three binders, well four, but three photo card binders. So this one has like all my main groups that I collect more photo cards for in a way. Or that I want to store in here. Then I have two groups and one solo in here. And then these are just like my random girl group cards or solo cards because I do tend to collect a lot of like non-groups that I don't collect if that makes sense so yeah let's just get into the first one I'm just sort of gonna say what I collect in that group and then just gonna flip through it and not talk as much because some people prefer not the talking to be to a minimum so I've also switched my lights so there's not much of a glare here so there might be a shadow here but I wanted to avoid a glare at all, pot at all times so in this like little section I have like random stuff I have the sound of Polaroid because I didn't know where else to put it so as soon as you open up my binder you have my 80s collection um at the moment I don't really collect in depthly for photo cards the only person I really collect in depthly for at the moment is Sana. I do definitely want to start getting more of Sana's PCs this year, but it'll be a slow progress and I'm not going to rush into it. But I do have a few of his PCs. But I mostly just have album pulls and then some cards I have traded for. These are Apple Music pre order benefits. All the pre order benefits you see are Apple Music. I don't, I don't have many pre-order benefits and I put these filler in, fillers in when I, f I want to just display that singular album on a page so I put some fillers in. They also released Halazia, uh, no spin-off from The Witness. I still haven't received my albums for that but as soon as I receive them I'll definitely upload an unboxing. And then these are like photo books. So this is their treasure photo books, the DVD PC. This is a spare John Ha I got in my thing. Then the Lightini photo cards version one, which come with the case, and version two that comes with the version two light stick. And then we have the OT Youth photo book. I still need to get their other photo books, but I will aim to get those this year. And that's for their season's greetings, which I still have not received. And then I have their group photo cards. Then we have Stacy who I just collect um, their Korean albums, all versions, but photo cards, I just tend to keep who I pull. But it could change in the future, you never know. And then these are, I think these are Apple Music pre-order benefits. Yeah, they're Apple Music ones that I got with my albums, which was not included in the listing. So twice, I mainly collect Sana for twice. This was a collection that I started lockdown, I think. So I was very slow and I didn't have many Twice albums before then so I didn't have a lot to trade off but yeah. So I have a few of her cards on the way so I'm hoping to co complete some collections this year. And then from Alcohol Free Onwards or Taste of Love I have all of her PCs apart from the um um I think it's called the file version <laughs> and then I have some of her pre-order cards I don't have all of them but they're not the biggest priority this is the one set I want to keep all the pre-order cards I have some random cards I don't want to get rid of or they're too big to fit in my mini binder and then I have some Japanese Polaroids some photo book cards more group Polaroids. My, my friends have quite a few spares so they let me have them. And then we have all these cards which are currently off trade. I do have this Dreamcatch PC which I need to give back to my friend but yes. I do like Dreamcatch by the way but it's just the PC I kept the whole of for her. And 
then we have Itzy. I collect mainly Rujin and Yuna. I don't collect all their PCs. I collected the full set for um, Guess Who. And then I have No Bad Days photo cards. And then this is the recent Cheshire photo cards. And then we have Monster X. I collect one version of each album. I still have not got Shine Forever. I'm hoping to get so in the future. Also, I just love Monster X size photo cards. And then I also do collect One O, but I haven't been up to date with his album since Love Sin and in Part 2. Um, he's also released Bittersweet, so I need to put a filler in here. And then um, Monster X announced their new album, Reasons, so I need to put that in. Then we have Woods, who hopefully will have a comeback soon. Again, also, my love for this PC. I don't know if I can get it out. Is this Chucky Hollow PC? Like I love it so much. Like I've double sleeved it because I I want. Oh yeah. I don't know why I double sleeved it. Oh yeah, I remember now because I didn't have enough sleeves of the other ones, so I can, I'll change that after this video. Then we have NCT All Units. I only like collect. It, it's a bit random to be honest. I have gotten all versions of their NCT like the whole group together and then I sort of collect every like unit album most of the time not like every single one but majority of them and I have made a filler but I have like my EXO albums here as well so Bakyun solos some more EXO albums and then we have Shiny and Super M and then more I need to get Key's new album and Mino and Onu, but I haven't got around to that yet, but I will definitely get them. Then we have Stray Kids. Um, again, Stray Kids, I don't really collect a member specifically, but if I could collect a member, I definitely would want to collect Chan or Tangbin's PCs. And then for like NCT, I'd like to collect like Xiaojin or Taeyong's PCs and Jaehyun as well. And then in hyphen, um, I was collecting, as you can see here, I was sort of getting my Sungwoon PC collection going, but then I ended up just deciding not to do that anymore and just to keep who I pull because I love all the members. And then we have TXT. So I have all of their albums now. So I'm very happy I have all their albums. It looks weird because I, it, I've got one version of each album, not every single one, but it looks weird because they have like the big cards. But yeah, I collect Yeonjin mainly. And yeah. and when I got this PC, I traded my Taehyun for this PC. And it was terrifying because I didn't put it in the top loader or anything. And I just kindly let them know because there wasn't too much damage to him. He was like a little bit bent but no creases. But I just let them know in future if they're trading with anyone to let them know that they're not going to be in a top. Because on their previous ones, there was a top loader. But then for my one there wasn't, so it was not that. I was just a bit like, because it's the first time it ever happened. And then I have my BTS collection, so we have the Yoongi pre-order, the postcards, and then we have all the folk. I also have this sugar PC, which is in like this decorated top loader. It's not the best, but I also have that sugar PC as well. Just letting you know. <laughs> and then we got more BTS stuff. I don't know so cute and then we have the solos i still need to get j-hope and rm solo but i will eventually get those and then we have the proof set and just to let you know yoongi's in the acrylic standy because it fit the blue theme i had and then we have life goes on and then we have like my random group so i had omega x vixen eric nam the boys and got seven and yes, I haven't got, I have most of Omega X's albums apart from the most recent one because I struggled to get my hands on it. And then we have like postcards, more postcards, got sevens, postcards for last piece. And that is everything for this bind. And then I'm going to go to my A5 binder. 
So, ooh, so currently I have this Solgi photo card in there. It's not like a real one, but it's like, yeah, because I couldn't find any like 17 or black pink one I liked. So, yeah. So in this binder, I have my 17 cards. I definitely do want to improve my 17 collection a lot this year because I've always liked 17, but like during the pandemic, they really had a grasp on me. And then like 2022, every song they released was hit after hit after hit. Every song they released is hit after hit, but you know, that they just really sold me and yeah. And I was eyeing this carrot version for ages in my local HMB, and then I finally caved in and bought it. And the pulls did not disappoint. I pulled um, DK's um, actual carrot version, and then we have G Idol. I bought an extra copy of their album, the Act version, because um, I wasn't fully aware of what the photo card situation was, and I didn't know it was like random and not version specific. And then we have my black pink collection. I definitely am on the hunt for a Jenny PC, just well, probably one of the album PCs, just so they all like go together. And then we have Blue Sung. And that is everything for this binder. And then we have my mini binder which has this photo of Jisoo because it's the only one that would fit in there. So when you open this up, we have my Solgi Glitter Tears because where else would I put this PC? And then we have Nyon's Pop, more Nyon, Che, Vina, and I cannot get rid of these cards. Like I, even that, no, I have Sana's version of this Hollow, so I'm okay with keeping this. I don't have Sana's PC that, and I know I could trade that to get Sana's PC, but I just can't let that go. Mina also has, like, a hold on me as well. <laughs> and then we have Kepler. And then Esper. I definitely want to get more Esper PCs. Um, Esper albums. I still need to get Savage, but I have not got Savage yet. Savage? Yeah, it is Savage. And then this one. Zoom out is like random stuff so we have my 80s posters from the concert i just sort of went mental when i was at the stand i was sort of like oh this has their face in it i'll buy that i can't wait to go in february and see them again because the merch for this con concert is similar to the one they had in america and me and my friends are like advocating to get that bag because that bag just looks amazing. And then I have like the mini posters as well, the ones that did fit in here. So I just decided to put them in here as well. It was the plan to do like a collage on my wall with these, but then I ended up liking my wall less busy, if that makes sense. Like not putting too much on it. And it makes my room feel bigger again and not as crowded and then i have all of sam's postcards from albums r.i.p to the 8kq putting postcards in their albums it's an end of the era these are the last postcards we got and yeah that's everything for that binder So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And yes, so hopefully the next videos you see from me are my 80s season's greetings, 80s spin-off of the Witness unboxings. I know there was another thing that apparently was arriving, but I cannot remember at the moment. This oh, and I'm gonna get Monster X's album as well. I believe that is everything. And yeah. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!